I found an amazing website which can really help you out in finding quality color schemes that will help your t-shirt designs get more sales. I'm going to walk you through different ways to use the website and also at the end I'm going to show you some of my favorite and best selling color schemes so you can copy them and use them in your own designs. So here we are on the website in question and it's called coolers.co. I'll leave the link to it down below in the description. And to start exploring it, I'm just gonna hit this button right here called Explore Trending Palettes. And then it's gonna load for a second. And as you can see, we've got a wide array of color schemes right here. And this is showing some of the most popular ones. So as you can see, lots of different options. Some have like five colors, some have eight, nine colors in them. A way to filter these is clicking into this search bar and then you get the options to, for example, filter by different colors. So let's say you wanted to make a design for women and you want the colors to be more pink, then just click on that color. And as you can see, we get a lot of pink-ish color schemes. Then if you want to have some turquoise in there as well, you can select both of those colors and you get color schemes that have them included, which does look really cool, sort of a beach vibe. Then you have different styles, so you could filter by warm, you could filter by cold, and there is vintage color schemes right here. There's also gradients, you can click on rainbow, which ha obviously has lots of different colors in one color scheme, but this one looks quite nice, for example, that would maybe work well for a unicorn type of design, just an idea. Then over here you have topics as well, Christmas, which obviously would be handy for Q4, you have Halloween themed color schemes. As you can see, lots of possibilities right here to filter and find new color schemes for your designs. You even have sunset, very useful for the typical vintage sunsets, which do sell really well uh, on many different marketplaces. So you can browse through here and find some new color inspiration for those. And let's say you found a color scheme that you like. What you want to do is click on these three dots over here and it'll bring up a menu. Now you have lots of different options, but what we're gonna do right now is we're going to export the palette and you get plenty of different options right here. One that I would recommend using is SVG because it will make it easier to sample the color afterwards and I'm gonna show you in Illustrator. So I've got this sunset design right here in just plain white and I'm now going to pull in the color scheme that I just downloaded in SVG format, draw it into my document with the sunset and as we can see, we've now got this in vector format so you can literally use the eyedropper tool, sample one of the colors, then hold down Alt on your keyboard to color in the sunset and you can just quickly skim through this as you can see we've created an amazing looking sunset right there very easily. Another way you could use this website is the color generator. So when you click on these three dots right here, you could say open in the generator and you will get all these colors in the biggest size. And now you have different options like you could click onto one of these hex codes right here and then change the color a bit yourself. You could also change the entire color scheme in sync by clicking adjust palette up here and then you can change the hue slider for example and it will show you um, a preview down here of what the color scheme will look like with the new effect applied so you could change the saturation to make the color stronger or weaker the brightness can be adjusted temperature all sorts of different things and then once you're happy with your changes you just hit apply and there you go you've got a new color scheme entirely another thing you can do is literally just hit space and it will cycle to other color schemes so you can just basically hit space a lot of times until you see something that catches your eye there's obviously lots of other features on this website uh, way too many for me to discuss in one video you can just explore a bit for yourself and here we go as promised some of my favorite color schemes that i use all the time and i will also leave a download link to the svg files for these down below in the description so you can easily copy these in Illustrator or whatever else you're designing in. So you've got the sunsets right here as an example of what it looks like in use and then the actual color scheme on the left. But I've also used these in just text designs to color in different text elements so it doesn't just work for vintage sunset designs. I hope you enjoyed this video and you have fun using coolers.co and if you're often struggling to find t-shirt design ideas then I recommend you watch this video where I show you five t-shirt designs that sell. Thank you.